In today's video I will do the unboxing of a super clone watch in comparison to my Rolex GMT Master 2 Pepsi for you. I bought this super clone watch from China for a price of around 1000 US dollars. So it is the highest category of fake watches that you can buy in the market. With this video I want to educate you about all the differences between a fake and a genuine watch, the packaging and how to spot a super clone watch. I hope this video will save many people from getting tricked into a fake product. Please be advised that selling fake watches is a crime in most countries and furthermore I can only advise to buy genuine products. These fake watches are really a disease of the industry and will never give you the satisfaction like a genuine watch can do. So let us start with a short challenge. I will show you different clips of the two watches and your task will be to spot the fake watch. After a few seconds I will show you the solution. All right, so in front of me, I have these two uh, bags. The one on the right is actually a genuine Rolex bag with a genuine watch inside and also all the original paperwork that you would get to your watch. And here on the left, we have actually a so-called super clone. Uh, basically, it's a fake watch. Uh, be careful, these fake watch uh, manufacturers, they actually distinguish there are quality levels from like a base a fake model that you can buy maybe at around a hundred US dollars uh, to like mid-range uh, high quality fakes that they are selling around five to six hundred and then the highest category would be that you will get offered a so-called super clone watch what we have over here and these uh, super clone watches will cost somewhere around a thousand US dollars then on top uh, these uh, scammers let's call them like that they will also offer you to either buy the watch uh, naked or you can buy it with only the box or you can buy a so-called full set which is of course the most expensive as they will also give you fake paperwork to the watch so already starting from the bags you can see quite a big difference while this uh, obvious fake bag has a silverish uh, grayish Rolex logo at the bottom, also the, the, the font of the, the Rolex lettering looks completely different I would say to how Rolex actually uses it. Uh, nevertheless, uh, be careful because I guess these bags, even these genuine Rolex bags are quite easy to get on the second hand market. I could imagine maybe some people after they bought a Rolex they just give them away as a gift or they put them on eBay to sell them whatever maybe they will bring a few bucks and then obviously the companies who are producing these fake watches or even someone who wants to scam you sell you a fake watch he can easily get one of these uh, genuine Rolex bags and can just put the fake watch into the bag yeah so still I wanted to show you the difference uh, also for the bags as I think it's quite interesting to see how these companies actually try to copy the genuine Rolex things Good, then uh, let us take out the fake uh, watch and all the paperwork. Uh, as you can see, I prepared it a little bit because there is actually some data on all the stuff that they give you with the watch. And I don't want to make any problems to someone in case this company used some real life data from, from a company or from a human being. And then in comparison, we have obviously the real Rolex box and the original Rolex receipt, yeah? So the Rolex receipt, I explained it already in my last video. Uh, in case you've missed it, definitely check it out. It will also be a good guidance how to spot a fake because it explains every single detail that should come with your Rolex watch. And uh, there, I think I mentioned it already, some dealers they will actually give you like this kind of uh, rolex envelope 
again you can see the golden rolex crown embossed at the bottom and the rolex lettering but also other companies they will just give you their own envelopes they will not give you a rolex envelope and inside obviously you will have the receipt to the watch then on the left then we have the fake watch receipt uh, as this watch came actually from china um, I'm not really sure if this would look like a genuine envelope for a receipt in China. Can't really judge it, uh, but at the first glance it feels a bit cheap. Uh, again, I would not consider uh, an envelope for a receipt from a luxury watch manufacturer or from a luxury watch uh, authorized dealer to feel like this. Again, very plasticky. Whereas this is like just cardboard, feels quite nice and natural in comparison. Then let us have a look inside. So I said I covered the logo of the fake uh, authorized dealer that they put on it. And in the inside we actually have quite a lot of uh, paperwork to the watch. So I said this is like a super clone with uh, all the papers and documents that you would get to a Rolex watch. So first thing they will give you as paperwork is like a fake receipt, fake receipt of payment. Uh, I covered the top part where they also mentioned a store from which I would have bought it. Obviously it's not true. Uh, the price they put on it, 78,000 Hong Kong dollars, uh, considering they uh, put it at maybe three years ago, I think yeah, it comes somewhere close to the retail price of the watch uh, so someone who's not that deep into the hobby might think this could be could be the correct amount yeah then they will give you the receipt of the watch again it will mention here the store which is obviously fake uh, the watch was never bought from that store also here they mentioned the exact same amount uh, so yeah, I mean, they seems like they really put some effort inside to make the paperwork match. Now we come to the second part. Uh, so after the receipt and the bag, we have now the two boxes over here. Again, on the left side, we have the fake watch. And on the right side, we have a genuine Rolex box in comparison. So as it's the same watch, uh, what they did quite well from the fake watch company they also put it in the correct size box. Uh, so it's an Oyster Medium, as you can see over here, uh, with the SAP code uh, for whatever, maybe for the box. Uh, but yeah, it's actually, it would also originally come in a medium size box. And here you can see the um, genuine uh, box. And it, actually it's the same SAP code. They just added for whatever reason this 64 at the end. Uh, but besides that, it's actually exactly the same and also from a feeling uh, both of these white sleeves feel exactly the same, the print feels the same. Uh, so it would be really tough actually having both side by side. If I would not know that there is this uh, 64 which is not supposed to be there, I would actually think it's exactly the same sleeve. And now it's getting a little bit easier. So uh, again the genuine box has a bit more of a of a yeah like a structure on the on the cardboard also the the crown is uh, better embossed you can feel it a lot more while on the fake watch box it feels more smooth the surface and also the crown is a lot harder to see on the fake box also from a color comparison, while this is more like a, a beige natural color, this looks a lot more yellowish. Coming to the next step, uh, we can also see here on both boxes, they actually put the Rolex logo at the right spot, obviously on the real one, uh, but also on the fake one, they put it over here. Again, you can see the quality even of the box is not up to the standards of a genuine Rolex cardboard box. And again, it feels a lot smoother, the fake box compared to the original box. Then we can see that they also put this kind of uh, foam protection inside. And even though it looks completely different to the Rolex foam, 
but I also noticed that these uh, foam pieces really vary from maybe batch to batch. Sometimes they only put like a small piece like this on top. Sometimes they put a piece like this on top and uh, sometimes also the structure of this can co look completely different. So it's not really a sign to know if this is a genuine product or a fake product. Now in the third step, we have the two green Rolex boxes side by side. Again, on the left side, this is the fake Rolex box. And on the right side, we have the genuine Rolex box. Uh, so from a first look, it's actually pretty hard to tell the difference, I would say. Uh, one thing for sure that we can notice is that the fake box seems to have some kind of like little air bubbles underneath the, the fake lever. The original Rolex crown is a lot more in a real gold color, while this is a bit more silverish goldish. So this is more, more like a yellow gold. This is more like a silver gold, white gold mix, maybe some kind of that. But actually, yeah, the uh, shape is also a little, little, little bit different, but I would say really hard to tell if you would not have them side by side. It's more, I would say, if you have these kind of air bubbles and so on underneath the lever, probably they did not use the best glue to put all of this together. Uh, and in comparison, you see the genuine box, obviously it's like perfectly, perfectly finished. No air bubbles at all. I think this is not only a good learning also to spot if the watch is fake, but also in case you have bought a or in case you bought a naked watch and you want to buy a box. In addition, make sure that you are not getting a fake box. Yeah, so make sure that the finishing of the box is really up to the standards, how you would expect it from a Rolex watch box. Now for the paperwork. Uh, so also here, this uh, fake watch company, they gave actually a lot of stuff with the watch. Uh, so here, for example, this fake, a uh, Rolex catalog, uh, which seems to be from a long time ago and uh, presents a few, yeah, information about former Rolex watches and ambassadors. But again, this kind of catalog never, never came with a GMT Master 2 Pepsi. So uh, also would be a good sign to tell you, yeah, that this watch is obviously not genuine. And then if you read through it, you will see that the translation of the text is not always the best. Um, so could also imagine that this is a sign uh, that you could even say that this uh, small catalog is not a genuine catalog just because the text doesn't sound correct. Then you get also this uh, fake leather uh, pouch that contains the uh, warranty manual uh, again. It looks completely different to the genuine warranty manual. I just have a comparison over here. This is like shiny, uh, high quality, and this is pretty cheap, just very thin uh, paper. But again, uh, for these also be careful because you can actually see many people selling maybe these uh, small uh, catalogs like the warranty manual and the, war uh, the user manual. So they are not too hard to get actually. And some people, if they really want to scam you, they might give you a genuine paper, uh, at least genuine uh, warranty manual and genuine uh, uh, user manual to the fake watch. So still be careful, but here you can see uh, what they will give to like a so-called super clone. Again, uh, completely different. Then we have the uh, warranty card of the fake watch. And first of all, the warranty card, if I remember correct, looks uh, pretty similar to how the old uh, warranty cards looked. But in comparison, obviously the new warranty cards will look completely different. Then also here, they put some uh, fake info on the warranty card. The pouch itself also looks completely different while here you have a genuine lever pouch. Uh, this one is some kind of artificial lever 
the shape is completely different and uh, don't take this shape for granted. I noticed that Rolex recently changed them a little bit. Uh, so for example, over here, you can see like these new pouches while the older pouches still had this window. In case you slide the warranty card in from the other side, you can see, I think the serial number and the reference over here. While these are the new style uh, pouches where it looks completely different. Coming now to the third part, uh, what are all these like tiny bits and pieces that you can get in addition to your Rolex. Again, here I can just reference to the last video that I made where I showed you exactly every single detail that you can or every single piece that you can get to your watch from the AD. I said not all ADs will give you all of these things to the watch, uh, but definitely have a look at the at the video. It will for sure help you in case you're planning to buy your first Rolex. So uh, first obvious thing, you will always get these hang tags and these actually every uh, Rolex dealer, they have to give it to you to the watch. You can see the uh, the fake Rolex. It actually uses this kind of old style uh, red brownish uh, hang tag but also this one uh, would be a bit too small and it definitely looks different to the old style hang tags that rolex used before now uh, in the current generation they would actually look like this so they are in green and you will also see it's a bit bigger than the the, the counterfeit product and it also feels uh, this time a bit smoother here from the genuine one is a bit more rough on the surface, feels more rubbery, while this feels like a more hard plastic. And then again, also you can see the cord has a different color. This is like a green and white, while this is more like a yellow and green. Then always what I love to get to the watch is obviously the white hang tag, but not every AD will give you the white hang tag, but on the white hang tag, you would have the serial number of the watch and the reference. And again, for the fake watch, you don't get the hang tag to it. Next thing is that the bezel protector here on the fake watch is a rubber one. And as per my knowledge, there's no uh, Rolex watch that comes with a rubber protector. Now the genuine Rolex usually will come with stickers. Mine is a bit scratched here already. And they have these kind of bezel protectors on it and the bezel protector is 100% plastic with this small rubber strip here to hold it together. Now having both the watches side by side, so again on the left we have the fake watch, on the right we have the genuine watch and can you tell the difference? And what I usually do for Rolex, uh, you can see you can check the magnifying glass uh, here for the for the uh, fake one, it actually does quite a good job, I must say. You see the magnification on both is pretty similar, but if this would be a cheap uh, fake watch, you would usually see that there is no magnifying effect at all to it, or it just looks super blurry and you can't read the date at all. Or there is like some kind of bluish color in it. But here on the on the uh, super clone copy, it actually looks quite okay. So the second thing, uh, how I usually spot a fake watch, I will unscrew the crown. And wind the movement. And I hope you can hear the sound. Now, let us wind the Rolex movement in comparison. So winding the Rolex movement feels a lot smoother, less scratchy, and also unscrewing the crown is a lot easier already. So it just feels like there's more precision uh, put into manufacturing these parts and that's why all these mechanical parts together work a lot smoother So you actually have like a, a good feeling winding the watch <laughs> whereas in comparison with the counterfeit 
Yeah, there's a higher resistance to it and it just feels a bit more scratchy, yeah? Then uh, one thing you will notice more is that the, uh, the filling of the engraved numerals on the bezel of the genuine Rolex is a bit more shiny, a bit more bright compared to the fake watch. Comparing the two bezels side by side, you can see that the genuine Rolex watch has a nice saturation of the colors. So the top part is a deep navy blue, while the lower part is a nice cherry red. And in comparison, the fake watch, the colors first of all look a bit more faded to me. And especially the lower part goes more into the direction of a brown tone. Whereas always your GMT Master 2 should have a nice red part at the lower half. And just be careful because also Rolex changed the uh, bezel uh, color tones slightly from the first to the last uh, generation of the current Pepsi that you can buy. Uh, nevertheless, definitely the lower part should be a nice red tone and not a brown color. Then from the inside, uh, also you can usually have a look here on the, on the Rolex logo that you can find on the inside of the clasp. Again, this is the, the fake watch. A cheap uh, fake would probably not even have this. Um, or what you will often find on the, on the cheap uh, fake watches is that the, the chrome or like the, the polishing here of the stainless steel will not look as good as on the genuine watch. So now let's take a comparison again. Having both of them side by side you can see that the Rolex one is actually done a lot better, even compared to a super clone. It's a, it's a lot darker, it's more refined, still uh, feels quite smooth. Whereas here, if I go with my glove above it, this one feels a lot more like it's just an engraving. While here, this feels more like it's done with an acid. And by that has this super nice finishing and on top this very smooth finishing. Then next giveaway is usually the crown that you can find on the safety clasp. Uh, for the cheap uh, fake watches, often this, this crown has like no shape at all to it or again is in a different shape. It's like uh, more, more fat, uh, smaller, bigger. But here again on this uh, super clone, it actually comes quite close to the genuine watch. Also, you can see here, they put some stickers on it from the, from the factory. And also these stickers, they are quite similar to the genuine stickers. But again, on the clasp, I would say the biggest giveaway is the Rolex logo that you find on the inside of the clasp on a, on a, even on a super, super clone, like this $1,000 fake watch is called, you see it's pretty rough, more silverish, more like it's engraved, while here on the, on the genuine product, it's super smooth, and you can't even really feel it. It looks very precisely made and less like it's just a simple engraving. Good, and now for the last step, let's see how the movement actually works. So we pull it out in the first position. Oof. And now we have actually a big difference. The hour hand actually feels like there would be no resistance at all to it. While on the genuine watch, when you pull out the crown, you always feel a proper click that it sits in the first position and just listen to the hour hand. How it precisely jumps into every position. Time for a loom shot. On the left side we can see the fake watch and on the right side we have the original GMT Master 2. And now let us make one check of the weight of the watches. So we start with the original Rolex watch. 
It comes at 138 grams with the resized bracelet and with all the links it would come actually at 142 grams. Now in comparison we will check the weight of the fake watch. Uh, I said usually the cheaper fake watches they will weigh a lot more or they will be way too heavy uh, but let's see how good they made it on this super clone. So only the watch 134 grams and with all the links it comes at 142 grams so it's exactly the same weight like the original watch so just from feeling or measuring the weight you would actually not see a difference so be very careful here the high grade uh, super clone or high grade fake watches they will come very close to the weight of the original piece with that we have it these were all the differences how you can spot the fake watch so i said uh, keep an eye out on all the little details like the shape of the crown if it's like a like the rolex shape of the crown would be how are the engravings the acid stamping on the watch how does the bracelet feel how is the bezel action and especially um, how to wind the movement how does the movement feel and if you're not sure about it i mean for sure it you become much more like a pro after you bought your first trainer rolex best way to buy it definitely from a store and after you bought your first rolex and owned it by a few years you will really get a good feeling how the quality of a rolex will feel like